In order to create and run a docav migrator migration plan, we log in the docav, click migration over on the left, and then click on the type of migration we're going to perform. In this case, I'll click on SharePoint migration. We have two types, online migration and offline. Online is the type of migration you run when your source can connect directly to your destination, and that's the one we're going to look at here. So I'll click on Start with Online Migration. In Docav Migrator, you can see your source farms on the left-hand side and your destination farms, including support for Office 365, over on the right. In order to get your locations to show up, all you have to do is install an agent in the appropriate farm, or for my registered sites, for Office 365, you can configure that in the Docav control panel. In order to select the appropriate nodes, all you need to do is start to browse down through the scope trees until you can find the source and the destination. Let's say I'm going to move the accounting site, in this example, over to my 2016 farm. And when I select the web app, I could create a brand new site collection on the fly that this will populate. I can also simply select that web app and it will create that using all the properties from the original. If I happen to already have that site collection, which in this case we do, I could also select it to essentially merge in from the source to the destination. It depends on how you're running your migration. It could be that you're creating things as you migrate, it could be that you've set up the entire structure and then you're just going to move things in. Now note, as you go through the scope trees, be aware of the level that you have selected. For instance, over on the left, I have a site collection selected. If I come over here and select a site, well, you cannot put a site collection into or under, as illustrated by attach and merge, a site. I can merge a site collection into another site collection. I can also attach a site collection underneath a web app. If you ever select the inappropriate levels, Docav will warn you about that and not allow you to go ahead and save your plan. So I will reset my levels here, and that is the first step in setting up and running your migration plan, picking source and destination. Now down at the bottom, I can click on Save as New Plan, and that will take me to the next two steps. One is you're going to select what migration profile is that you want to use. We took a look at migration profile in a separate video, so please be sure to watch that. And then you're going to put it on a schedule. So first I'll give it a name. Select the appropriate migration profile and then put it on a schedule. Now, if you leave it set to no schedule, you will still be able to save the plan and then kick it off manually later on. If you put it on a schedule though, you have the ability to actually run the migration over time, meaning I can do a full or incremental migration, and then I could periodically migrate changes. The logic there is if you wish to migrate content now, but not put users in the new environment for a few weeks, they're going to continue to make changes to their source content. Over that time, once a day, maybe once every couple of days, you would want to migrate those incremental changes. So the first day that you actually switch everybody over, everything is there and updated to the most recent work. If I simply do a full migration today and then switch them over in two weeks, they'd be missing the two weeks worth of work. Scroll down and we have conflict resolution to consider, especially if you're doing incremental, you could tell it to things like skip if that thing has not changed. You could also tell it to do things like overwrite or append as necessary. Then down at the bottom, I can actually set the interval itself. Let's say I wanted to do this every couple of days and we know our migration is going to start tomorrow and I want it to end in a few weeks when we actually go in and switch everyone over to the next environment. If everything looks the way I want, I click on save. My schedule is now set. So we have our profile selected for all of our additional settings. We have our schedule set. Do I want to associate this with a plan group to run on that plan group's particular schedule? I'm not going to do that here because I have my own schedule for these jobs and then use the migration database to store information about how the migration jobs run for troubleshooting and for records keeping purposes uh, later on. 
if everything looks good. Down at the bottom I have save and save and run now. Since I put it on a schedule, I'm just going to click on save. And on our plan manager tab, we can see here is our brand new migration plan, which according to our schedule will kick off tomorrow and run every two days for the next couple of weeks. Thanks for watching this short video on how to configure a Docav Migrator migration plan.